Good afternoon, people. Hope you're okay. Uh, right, it's uh, half past twelve on a Sunday afternoon. I woke up late because I'm having so many late nights on people's streams, etc. Right, what you're looking at is a triple tone. It's made by a company called Triple. It's an amplifier, a little mono amp, tube amp, as you can see. And uh, sorry about the junk around everywhere. I've got to sort this. I've only got a table in the kitchen. That's what I work on because I haven't got any room in this place to work on stuff. That's why I need to uh, sell the house and get out. Anyway, it's uh, made by a company called Triple Tone, and it was made around about ooh, early 60s. And I tried it the other day. I mean, it's got three tubes on it. Uh, one of them's uh, a rectify tube. That's the EZ80. I think it isn't that one there. I'm sure. The one in the middle, that tall one, that's an EL84 output valve. And what's the other one? Yeah, I'm saying it's got rectify, output valve. What's the other one there? Oh, God, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what the other one does. I'll have to look it up. And um, I've tried it. And these, see the big filter capacitor, that big can, that gets very, very hot. If I leave them for, say, I don't know, 20 minutes, it gets really hot. You can just barely touch it. So that needs replacing. Cause that's, and that'll explode otherwise. Sorry about my finger there. So that needs replacing at some point. I've got a new electrolytic here. Where is it? Here we are. That's the new one. That's the new replacement. There we go. It's, uh, what is it now? It's 32 microfarad, 500 volt DC. And 30, yeah, they're both. Yeah, there's two caps in there. And it's 32 microfarad plus 32 microfarad. That's what the original one. So that's going to go into that. Take that one out. That's... Uh, you know, you can't even, uh, what do you call it, oh, not reactivate it, what is it, reform it, it can't be reformed, it's uh, far gone, it's too far gone, and I'd rather not risk it to be honest, because when those uh, explode, as you know, if you saw Rosie O'Kelly's video, um, they do cause a bit of a mess, and it can actually uh, blind you, if you're not wearing any uh, protection goggles. So that's what I've got to do, and as soon as I get that done, when I'm going to do it, I don't know. But it's a very, very easy job, simple. Uh, once I get it going, and I'll give you a little demonstration of that. So it's a triple tone amplifier, and the reason why they called it triple tone because instead of just having a bass and treble control, it's actually got a middle control on it. So you can control the high frequencies, the low frequencies, with the bass control for the low frequencies treble control for the high frequencies and it's also got a middle control so you can control the mid frequencies that's why they call this amplifier triple tone and it's got two old fashioned used to call them wonder plugs for the loudspeaker output oh yeah plus it's got a little tiny um, audio transformer it's an audio output transformer that just boosts the actual audio I can't remember how many watts it is I think it's about something like four watts something like that but this was the first amplifier I ever had when I was a kid so um, yeah my dad gave that to me and that's why I wanted to get it running again because it means quite a lot to me this amp I would never get rid of it because my father gave it to me and he's long since passed now well not very long a few years yeah, there we go there we go, that's a triple tone amplifier, that needs to be repaired and uh, I've got to check the values of the resistors underneath and a few caps, there's, n there's not really much to it really. Uh, yeah, I'll just check the caps, make sure the ESR is low, I've got an ESR, dedicated ESR meter here, I think Rosie's got the same, where is it, where's the damn thing gone, that's not it, where's my ESR meter, somewhere, oh god. Yeah, I've got one of those little Lepi amplifiers, Rosie. There we go. Great little amps, and it's so dirt cheap. I don't know how the Chinese do it, to be honest. I've got a little collection of valves there. That's only a small collection. I've got a huge box upstairs with so many different valves. Oh, there we go. I've got a tape recorder there. That's the one I was working on last time. It's just a bloody mess here. Oh, I don't get time to do much anymore, because I'm always on live streaming. Anyway. So there we go, just thought I'd show you that, oh that's my little uh, meter, test components, whatever, tells you their values, resistors, 
Uh, I've got so much equipment, but I really need a dedicated workshop. And that's an isolation transformer there. Where is it? There we go. A little isolation transformer. So um, what it does, it prevents you from getting the electric shock. Because it isolates the actual earth from the mains. There we go. So I've got to wire that up as well. I haven't even wired it up, actually. That's one of those uh, variable power supplies. One of those uh, cheapo jobbies from China. But they work. They're great. What would we do without China, eh? Heavens knows. Heavens knows. I really don't know. All right, there we go. I've got to clear this table up. Oh, look at this. I've got shit everywhere. Oh, anyway. So I uh, just thought I'd do a little video. I'm sitting there having a coffee and I thought, eh, I'm feeling a bit bored. What should I do? I know what. Let's do a little video on my triple tone. And I've got it connected underneath to a great big, huge loudspeaker I just use for testing. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, there's not much to enjoy really is there you're just looking at my <laughs> old amplifier there but anyway it's a lovely tube one i do love tube equipment fantastic yeah, and i really love rosie o'kelly's uh tube amp oh that amplifier is beautiful my god anyway i might even uh buy a modern valve amplifier actually um they're starting to remanufacture them again obviously they're not as good as the original 1960s amps but you know what yeah they're very expensive in this country if you had to buy um, an old-fashioned amplifier like Rosie's got uh, they, they, you've got to pay through the through the roof really they're over 200 300 pounds if you're lucky so there we go all right hope you enjoyed and I shall see you later ciao ciao